couple accused of sexually assaulting two of their nine adopted children faced the charges in court today. Outside the courthouse, a show of support from family and friends who say they didn't do it. News 8's Bob Wilson is on the scene in Manchester where the suspects stood before a judge. Well, today inside court, there was very little drama outside. When the doors opened up, family members, friends came out, stood on the courthouse steps and told the media this couple didn't do it. Tonight, George Haraz is taken away from the Manchester Superior Court, held on a total of $350,000 in bonds. He faces multiple sex assault counts, from first-degree sexual assault to cruelty to persons to risk of injury to a minor. His husband, Doug Worth, free on bail, charged with sexual assault on a minor and risk of injury to a minor. Even with the police saying there are two victims, the judge tagged the couple with eight restraining orders for the rest of the adopted children under the age of 18. This is my brother. Um and I came here to support them. The couple adopted nine sons, telling DCF they're going to try and help the disabled kids with pet therapy. DCF took the children from the home after police launched an investigation in February and then a second one in August. One friend of the couple making a bold statement. He says the children made false accusations for money. George and Doug are pretty well off. From what I heard, they wanted money. I knew they didn't want to give them the money. All of a sudden, this came out. DCF approved the nine special needs adoptions starting in 2000, paying the couple up to an estimated $12,000 a month to help with the challenging children. And once they were adopted, there was never any kind of state supervision. Clearly, there was a major crevice, not a major break in the safety net, but a major crevice in the safety net. There was a failure to protect these children. But George Matuza says that he knew the family for 10 years and never had seen anything wrong. They've always seemed like good people and the kids never seemed like they ever were abused. They didn't show any signs, outward signs. They all seem like a good family. Now while the two men moved through the court system, the police department says they have wrapped up both of those investigations. However, I asked them if there are more victims out there and they declined to comment. I'm Bob Wilson on the scene of Manchester, News 8.